Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to 10 million. Let's hop into it and keep on playing. All we need to do is get 10 million score and we're not anywhere close to that, but also while we're at it, we want to collect 100 wood and 100 stone, which we still haven't done. Perform 70 matches or and match 36 staff tiles now. I think there might actually be a way to uh, maybe trade out some lesser quests if you're having trouble with them. That might be a good move to think about. I, we'll see if I can do that because like getting the stone and wood quest is probably not going to happen. There, I'm, I feel like as I'm playing here, I'm getting better, too. Let's see. Eat this. Give me a key. And another key. And then another key. And swords. And staffs. One more time, let's see. How about this? Something. Give me something to match. Here we go, swords. Eat that to keep ahead of the curve. Fall behind. Need to keep desperately. Let's get some wood. Fall over here. Get all this. Finally got that quest done. And that quest. Nice. So, not even a particularly good run there. And we got it done. That finally puts us over the 500 wood and 500 stone. So we can unlock this. And this will upgrade our armor type. So, enemy attack delay would be really nice to go on. 4% enemy attack delay, 7% enemy attack delay, that seems like that's really nice. Now 1% damage reduction also sounds sounds appealing, however, no. I, I think a damage reduction is in there. So our next guess is we need 500 gold, 500, no, 500 wood and 500 stone to upgrade our training facility. Uh, perform 70 matches. Yeah, I guess there is no way to get rid of these objectives. You just have to do them. Perform two triple matches. Probably could get that done. Match 30 tiles in 10 seconds. Each one of those seems doable. There we go. Was quite a chain. Of course, chains are just random. I mean, they're not really something I'm planning for. Uh, I think I'm just gonna lose here. It's taking so long to find something that can match anything, any match at all. Doesn't matter if it's a coin or something. A, a key, there are no coins. <laughs> Ironically, I, I just finished recording a game where I kept saying keys instead of coins. It's like, I can't get those two things straight for some reason. Uh, so, just a general bad run, but I got two of the things done anyways. Since I am dying, it makes sense to increase my armor. Uh, 
Now, gold is getting used for a lot of different things here. Now, we have four upgrade tier paths that are just focused around gold and nothing else. Uh, wood and uh, stone are going to soon become unnecessary. See, kill a ranged monster in under five seconds, kill a ranged foe with only physical damage. I think that'll be pretty easy to do because, well, I don't think I have anything but physical damage to, that I can do. Uh, is that something that we unlock eventually? Uh, like a bow and arrow or some other thing we can do? Best here. I think we're about to lose. No. Armor doesn't seem like it helps you any at all. Mmm, nothing. Got nothing from that r run. Something, something, please. Give me a key, give me a key. That'll work. Use that key to speed up. Eat that to speed up. Eat that. did nothing. That must... These dewdrops must be immune to some, like, magical damage or physical damage or something. Something along that line. No, they... Magical wand damage seems to hurt them just fine. Physical damage seems to hurt them just fine. Maybe it's just the balls don't hurt them. Maybe they're just bouncy. I'm at 500 wood and 500 stone here, so let's return home. We have to start managing that ourselves. So, time to upgrade. Didn't look like anything changed here, but back here we have... Let's see. Um... From 900 items do 25% more damage. That's not that useful. 5% chance to critical strike. Every chain past 5 grant bonus time. Interesting. Grant a larger time bonus when killing an enemy. Uh, reduce the cost of upgrading buildings by 10%. Interesting. Plus 10 stone this. So take this immediately. 10% weapons damage back when attacked for larger time bonuses. I, larger time bonuses, I think. Now the next upgrade is 1080. It would have been, I guess, 1090 before. Or something like that. Maybe 1100. 
So, I like to upgrade this now is 1620 to upgrade this one is 1350. To upgrade this one is 1350 also. Do I have any armor or anything I can buy? Nope. This one is 1620. And then this one was 1500. And now it's a thousand. So that initial cost, I think, has helped. Good. A little bit of progress there. Every run seems to at least do something to help you. that. That was a heck of a chain there. Ooh, that... All of a sudden things are going my way. Eat that. Take that key. Take that key. Make that match. Make that match. Uh, make this match. Make this match. Really? One more. Gonna hit him with this. Still not enough. And with that. And with the key. Who's coming? Let's see. That other guy needs more damage on him. Feel the pain. There we go. Let's see, all kinds of keys use that. Let's go ahead and hit this. This. Let's see if you approach something and you're still in the middle of a combo, it doesn't seem like that works. Here we are at the dragon and we're just like having a wonderful experience here. It's just great. Hit it. As soon as I start saying I'm having fun, it's like, oh no, we're gonna make you suffer now. Don't kill me, come on. Oh well. We got all three of the quests done. At least. Hmm. So. There are definitely some numbers here that don't make sense. Uh, I'm a little confused as to whether a 1% reduction in time in, uh, in damage really does anything that would be noticeable. Like, should I get more shields or should I just try to get more damage? I think I should just get more damage. Increasing the sharpness though is just a critical strike. I probably should have done that one instead. So, on to the next run. Uh, Master Crawler has achieved 200,000 points now and achieved four, four in a row matches. Hmm. I think I can do that. this going as much as we can. Ah, yeah, this isn't going to work too well. I don't, I don't think, I think I've, I'm having a bad run. Seems to be kind of just random how lucky you get on some of these. Um, get this guy. So should I even keep use that? Or should I just keep it for the next run? I probably should just hold on to it. It's 
a whole momentum thing as much as it is just doing the level. Just keep that momentum going. Make matches even if they don't make sense. Just keep going. So one of those was already done. I don't think I have enough to unlock anything else though. I need like 380 here and the 340 that I have right now is not enough. I seem to have a slight bias towards wood over uh, stone, maybe because the stone is just naturally darker and doesn't uh, show up to my eye as fast. But, yeah, I'm always a little low on stone. That changed one to a sword. Keep on playing. Keep on playing. Even though it looks like you're not gonna do well, just don't give up hope. Hmm. Let's see, I have enough now to upgrade something though. Run over here. Train this. We've got three more things that we can upgrade here before we need another thousand to get that turned up the most. Turned up to the next level. Can't upgrade anything here with our gold. We need a massive increase in our gold drop. We can increase our staff material though. Just get that chance of special effect up, even though we, we're not seeing a lot of that. It seems to mostly just be poison. We just have to get one good run. Uh, we've already made it to over 200,000, so it's not like I can't do it again. Although, maybe that was a fluke. Uh, kinda, it was. In a lot of ways, kind of everything you do in here is just a fluke. But there's nothing really that special and new to it. Uh, this isn't a puzzle game, though. It's not like they're thinking where to drop things. Or if there is some system here that's giving you a little bit of help, I'm certainly not noticing it. There, we'll do that. That. And then do this. And then do this. Darn it. Played wrong there. Dying. Crazy. Come on. 
that hit and go. Eat that food at the wrong time. Get that. Now survive this one. That would be nice. If I can beat this fight. Well, we couldn't beat the dragon, but we beat Master Crawler. And so we have reached a new level. That means the final thing to unlock, I think, could be unlocked now. If I had a thousand and a thousand. Let's upgrade our armor to a 6% uh, damage reduction. We still need a lot of experience here. Uh, you can pretty well tell that there's only a level 3 at most. I, I doubt there's a level 4 or 5 on the upgrades, but maybe. We may just hit this point where it uh, eat an item of food just before timeout, just in time, perform 10 double managers, kill a monster using only orbs. Uh, there might be something to it though that we may hit a point where you're just gonna have to grind a lot more. And that, I may do that off screen, I may not. I figure this is a short enough journey that even if it's a little dull, it's it's not going to be ridiculously long. So, almost like a car trip of a game. It's like you just you're going to sort of enjoy it, but it's it's still going to be a little long. I got to just in time by eating it after time ran out. Interesting. Well, I got us a little bit of gold. I don't think enough to buy anything though. The game needs some kind of indicator that would show you that you, you can purchase something. That way you're not constantly running in and out of a store for no real reason. Let's see, come on, give me something. Line something up, game. You know I can't. I don't have the skill. It's like, I did that, that that's a waste. I should have totally saved that. I can't get a key to match that. This, this is pointless. I might as well just take as many matches as I can. Interesting that just in time didn't go away. Hmm. Maybe I cheated the system and it realized it. So maybe it gave me the gold and gave me the quest again, or maybe it didn't give me the goal. How close to the end do I have to be to eat the food, though? I imagine closer than where I am right now, a little bit. That'll work. Begin having a pretty bad run. Hmm. So, interesting. We 
can finally unlock the final thing. Repair. Let's see what this is. Alchemy. Plus 50% stone wood zero experience. Plus 25% chance to get a critical or special strike. Uh, minus 25% damage. Huh. That's the damage you deal. Plus 15 score. Chest have one axle extra lock. And then we've got some other things. So, let's say we wanted to get more stone and wood. This is now a modifier to that point. And so I can use that modifier and get no experience, which isn't the best thing in the world. But let's see, upgrade shield type. Seven shields per match to start with. Building level too low to go any further on this point. So we'll have to start getting more gold. Match 26 backpack tiles. Interesting. So we just want more gold, more stuff with this. This isn't particularly to do anything, but this run is nothing just get matches and use those matches to get gold, wood, and stone. And maybe if we're really lucky, beat some of the other levels. But don't hold your breath on it. So all I'm really doing is stone and wood right now. Although somehow I'm, I'm still making a decent amount of progress for somebody who's not really trying. I think a lot of that just comes down to being calm and playing the game. Uh, that's all that's probably really required here. It's just being cool, calm, and collected. Let it happen. A lot more games than you would think really are like that. So 642 wood, 514 stone on that first run. That's a decent amount of stuff. Let's see. just to hold back on things too. Go. Uh, come on, show me a match somewhere. We're dying. 891, 664, run again. Last run here. So I can now, at my leisure, decide do I want to get more stone wood or do I want to get more experience and focus on trying to move forward. A little bit of grinding is to be expected for a game like this. Although, this whole game, in a sense, is grinding. Well, it's, that's the gameplay you signed up for, really. If you don't like this style of match 3, which there are three different styles of match 3. There's the ones where the, you, 
you'll just switch position with the one that you click on or drag to. There's ones that do full bands, bands up, bands to the left or right, and there are ones that uh, that have you actually pick up the tile and nudge everything. You know, like Puzzles and Dragons, I believe works that way. Uh, which I find that style particularly interesting for a match three puzzle because it seems to be a lot more complicated and it usually is accompanied with a lot more of a integration of other systems. So, not too bad. We are at Let's see, almost a thousand of a thousand of everything of stone and wood. This would be 1350 and 1350. We kind of need that. This would be 1350, 1350. This is a thousand and a thousand again. So while I could upgrade it, I'm not getting any experience right now. This is 1650 and 1650. Get one more max shield. Why not? I don't think I play well enough over this game to for the thing to happen. And this one particularly doesn't get upgraded, so I don't even have to worry about that. So we're in pretty good shape. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all that helps out if you want to support me you can click on my name right -o. on the right is a blue button that says support this channel click it make a donation and if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening